Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are very pleased to welcome today a strong voice of labor movement. Luc Triangle is the General Secretary of the International Trade Union Confederation, the ITUC, which represents over 200 million workers worldwide. Thank you very much, Luc, for being here. It's really a pleasure for us to have this conversation with you. The world is undergoing a significant transformation, such as the new technologies, the demographic shift, and climate change. In your view, why do this transformation warrant a discussion on a renewal new social contract? Well, the world is going through transformations, eh? uh, as you said, uh, climate, digital, aging and so on. Uh, and what we feel today all over the planet is that, we, uh, that workers and people feel um, have, have, have fear. What does it mean for me? Uh, they are not really involved um, in these processes. Mm -hmm. So what we demand uh, is indeed include workers, include people mm -hmm. in these transformations. Mm -hmm. If you want to have ownership in these transformations, mm -hmm. if you want to have social acceptance in these transformations, mm -hmm. it's important that people are on board when you shape these transformations. Mm -hmm. And not only when you confront them with the consequences of these transformations, mm -hmm. because then often mm -hmm. and rightfully they oppose these transformations. Mm -hmm. So the new social contract mm -hmm. is part of that process. Mm -hmm. The world needs a new deal mm -hmm. because the world is not peaceful. Mm -hmm. The world is uh, faced today with a lot of geopolitical tensions mm -hmm. and the new social contract should um, give a new deal mm -hmm. to the global population, to mm -hmm. all the workers in the world mm -hmm. uh, about it can be better. Mm -hmm. We can do it better. Mm -hmm. And that's the role of the social contract that we demand mm -hmm. and which is also a priority for the International Labour Organization. Mm -hmm. So you talk about the critical importance of the inclusions of workers and their representative in the shaping of this new social contract. How should the impact of said transformation that you described a few, uh, few minutes ago for workers be addressed through uh, this new social contract? Well, we have our own demands on the new social contract. It's mm -hmm. not just a nice title. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a document ready. We have a, uh, a position ready as ITUC, mm -hmm. uh, where we say, what is this so new social contract? Mm -hmm. For us, this new social contract is based on six chapters. Mm -hmm. First of all, we need much more jobs today. Mm -hmm. Decent jobs, climate-friendly jobs in the world. ILO also said last year, we need nearly 700 million new jobs in uh, the world to indeed give a job to everyone because a decent job is the enabler to get out of poverty. Mm -hmm. So it all starts with a job. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the job needs to have good wages. Mm -hmm. So the minimum wage discussion that we have had here in this house is important mm -hmm. because it's not just enough to have a wage, it has to be a living wage uh, that allows people to have a decent life. Thirdly, it, uh, it has to be combined with rights. Mm -hmm. Every job needs to be um, embedded with rights and that is about every job. We are talking today also about informal economy. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody needs to get out of informality, for informality to formal work where you have the, um, the, 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 the possibility for rights. The fourth um, chapter is social protection. Mm -hmm. um, four billion people today don't have any form of social protection. Mm -hmm. So the world needs social protection. The fifth one is equality. Equality for all. Uh, no one is better than the other. So we need to have equality, rights for women, rights for minorities, rights for LGBTQ, rights for indigenous people for everybody we need to have equal rights mm -hmm. and last but not least is inclusion mm -hmm. the world cannot be governed only by a number of countries we need to have the developing countries on board in uh, global governance mm -hmm. also this is an important part of the new social contract mm -hmm. this gives hope to people this mm -hmm. new social contract gives uh, a perspective mm -hmm. uh, and that's why this new social contract for us is really important for the next 20 to 30 years at global mm -hmm. level Mm. You talk about uh, the six demands from the ITUC regarding this new social contract and a very important element that you mentioned is the possibility to give the hope to people. Um, from your perspective, what are the possible challenges as well opportunities for unions to participate in shaping a new social contract at national level but also at regional level? Well, we need to um, accept that unions mm -hmm. uh, are um, important stakeholders in um, a society, in a country, 
uh, that unions should be respected like that mm -hmm. uh, and that social dialogue uh, and tripartite social dialogue is used and in that framework mm -hmm. unions will play their role mm -hmm. uh, in um, shaping uh, the new social contracts mm -hmm. not only with us at global level, but also at national level, at regional level, at local level. Mm -hmm. The new social contract is not something for the world and for the world level only to be discussed. Mm -hmm. We are seeing today already examples where the new social contract is discussed at national level, and that's where it has to be implemented. Mm -hmm. But it has to be based on the same principles mm -hmm. and with the same objectives. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, the second World Summit for Social Development will happen next year. Um, what could be, in your view, the recommendation to strengthen the role of the ILO here? As you said, this is the house of the workers, but also its constituents as part of the tripartism in shaping the new social contract. Well, I think we really have um, here uh, an important point. Mm. It must be very clear that if you want to have an effective, efficient result of the World Social Summit with impact, then there can only be one organization that is in the center of the debate in the preparation but also during the World Social Summit mm -hmm. and that must be the ILO because without jobs and without decent jobs and without a focus on labor as an enabler to create a future for all mm -hmm. you will not succeed mm -hmm. so in that sense we need to promote mm -hmm. the role of the ILO mm -hmm. in the uh, preparation and uh, during the social summit mm -hmm. and the ILO has to go there mm -hmm. with a clear um, view and that must be the new social contract mm -hmm. combined with the coalition for social justice mm -hmm. because social justice is at the origin uh, of the ILO mm -hmm. and it's still extremely important to bring that back on the table mm -hmm. as uh, an important topic on which we need to deliver as well to the population in the world. Mm -hmm. So the global coalition of social justice together with the new social contract mm -hmm. driven by the ILO, that's for us the World Social Summit for next year. Mm. As a trade union leader, how do you see the preparation from the labor movement of this rendezvous of 2025? Well, I can tell you we are working on at every level, mm -hmm. uh, together with the ILO mm -hmm. uh, and with uh, ACTRAF, we are working on this on a daily basis um, because this is our work program, this is our action program, this is what we decided also in our 2022 World Congress mm -hmm. as ITUC. That's mm -hmm. a new social contract. Mm -hmm. That was the title of our manifesto. Mm -hmm. So everything um, um, is uh, linked to that. Mm -hmm. Together, I must say, also for us now, with democracy. Uh, we didn't mention that yet, but uh, we are uh, also clearly campaigning for democracy because democracy is a societal concept under which a new social contract can be realized. Without democracy, mm -hmm. a new social contract will not be realized. So this new social contract, together with our democracy campaign, mm -hmm. is today the agenda of the international trade union movement at mm -hmm. every level. Mm -hmm. Just to conclude uh, in one sentence, what would you like to see come out from the social summit in 2025? In one sentence. Mm -hmm. I'll try in one sentence. But or in two lines. It will be a long one. Uh, no, but we are, what we need is we need to give a perspective to the population okay. and to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to give a perspective post-2030, mm -hmm. post-sustainable development goals, mm -hmm. and that must be the new social contract. Mm -hmm. The world is not going into the right direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and we need to um, uh, create a better world, mm -hmm. a more equal world, mm -hmm. um, where uh, there is a, a fair share of the wealth created, mm -hmm. where we tackle the growing inequality, mm -hmm. uh, and where we create uh, indeed more equality uh, based on social justice, based on decent jobs, based on rights and on fair wages. So that's for us uh, what we want to achieve out of this uh, World Social Summit next year. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Luke, for this interview. It's really a pleasure for us to welcome you to discuss about this very important topic on the new social contract. I just want to remind to our audience that this conversation will not stop here. There will be new voices that we will invite to discuss, to give their perspective on the new social contract. So stay connected with the ILO, and thank you very much for your attention.